Hello everyone! Welcome back to Melody of Memory. It's been a while. Um, like three weeks? Two and a half? Something like that? Um, anyway. Uh, so hopefully um, I remember how to play this game since it's been a while, but also let me know if the um, audio balancing is alright. Um, just because it's, I've changed some stuff since I last did this, so uh, hopefully it should be all good, though. So let's go ahead and get started. i going to turn my volume down a little bit. All right, so apparently we did some stuff. I don't remember all the things that we did. Wow, I've got a lot of stuff. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think you mentioned that already before. I haven't taken a look at it, though. Um, but that's really cool. People, I mean, Breath of the Mouth's gotten a ton of mods. So, anyway. Let's get into this game. So, last time, I'm pretty sure I... Yeah, so I did this. Or, no, I haven't done this. That's right. This is a boss fight that I'm going to be starting on, which is going to be rough because bosses in this game are like seem to be way hard yeah and if i clear it then i get team bbs i see so i got team 3d yeah so all right let's go ahead and i guess there's two wonder of oh these are recoded songs okay i don't know if i've heard these before i, I don't know if they were i mean it, i would have only heard them in the movie which is the only thing i've seen from this game kind of digging the synth though okay uh let's see yeah okay we're gonna get it on proud so i guess we'll have to see how that goes um but anyway let's get this show on the road shall we and i might die really quick since okay lr and dude i'm gonna have to remember Dude, Kingdom Hearts Coded is such a weird game that exists. <laughs> it's like... I kind of like the song, though. Yeah, they really do like to... to tell the story of Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, Square Enix can't seem to quit, like, that young Sora, like, the young Sora aesthetic. Because, like, Coded had it, then they brought it back for Dream Drop Distance, even though that didn't really make any sense. I guess it's helpful for, like, people that haven't played the games. Like, because there's so many, right? So it's... To a certain degree, they have to explain everything up to a certain point in every game. If you want any help of knowing what's going on. I mean, that's also true. Like, if you haven't played any of the Kingdom Hearts games in, like, well, like, like say, like, five years or something, and a new one comes out, it's like, do you really want to go back and play, like, all these games again? Or, like, like do you want some easy way? So, I guess, from that perspective, I do respect the, you know... Also, I totally dig that song. Apparently, I missed a glide target, though. I... I'm sad about that. That's okay, though.
Dude, what are these? How come I have never heard these songs before? They're kind of bopping. Okay. Wait, there's a Treasure Planet PS2 game? I have not heard about that. What was that rhythm? There we go. That's kind of hard to hit those. Oops, I missed that. Ooh, okay. Oh, I was supposed to jump there. It's all right. I need to live with like, uh, live with something like 45% HP or something. Dude, am I like sleeping on Coded's music? Okay, Roxas, figure your crap out. I know I'm the one controlling you, but it's fine. Oh, there's a PS1 one, dude. I never had a PS1 at all. So I, I don't like, some people have nostalgia for that era of graphics, but I was never into the PS1 era. I like, I like, like N64 style. I guess I was wrong about this being a boss fight too, which is honestly a great thing because like, I don't know if I have the energy to do one of those boss fights. Hey, How Joe, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. That These coded songs are great, like, I would like I was sort of taken aback by that. I mean, I mean, I suppose they could have done Xion as a fight for days, but also you could play as her, so that'd be kind of weird. Um, but I mean, they could have figured it out. They've done weirder things in base Kingdom Hearts before, so. A strange entry was yeah, here we get the story of Chronicles Kingdom Hearts Coded, which is to investigate. Something. <laughs> it's Riku. They put bugs in him. <laughs> hey, Jared. Thanks for stopping by. It's good. How are you doing? Nice to see you normally in Santa Fe. It's been a really long time since you've hung out, but thanks for stopping by. But somewhere along the way, Data Riku, the embodiment of the journal, had imported them into the datascape to help solve the mystery <laughs> of the message. How many Soras do we have? Well, Maleficent I mean, Kyrie's heart was in Sora. Ventus's heart was in Sora. Roxas is Sora's nobody. Um, Data Sora drew Xion looked like Sora. Vanitas looks like Sora. And used it to fight and forge a path. <laughs> ah, the classic. He defeated Sora's heartless. Yeah, Data. <laughs> Data Riku, not to be confused with Riku Replica or Dark Riku's Replica. <laughs> so Xion's also Sora. She's Sora's memories of Kairi. They have to call him Data Sora. <laughs> Man, laying it out all like this 
Yeah, oh, yes, fair. Ansem, who's also Riku, and Xehanort, who is also Terra. <laughs> it's not confusing. I don't understand what people are talking about. <laughs> There's probably some way you could argue that Namine is Sora, too, considering she was the... Nobody created from Kairi, but Kairi never turned into a Heartless. Mickey and Data Sora now knew the true meaning of it's those fine. words. Data Sora thanked Naminé, and they said their goodbyes. Data Sora thanked Naminé. Mickey wrote Sora a letter detailing the events that took place in the Datascape. You are who you are because of those people. They need you, and now the door to your next journey is ready to be opened. Man. That is a game. Coded is a game that ex exists. I mean, so the Zelda timeline, I would agree, is just as confusing. However, my argument in that regard is that, like, there's all the Zelda games are separate to the point where, like, you, like they're not supposed to be, like, they reference each other, but they're not about e each other. So it's like, it doesn't really, it's hard to compare those two things because... If I were to just play, like, Twilight Princess or Link to the Past or something, I don't need to, like, you know, play all of the other Zelda games before to understand any of the lore. Not that you have to, but, like, they all, you know. Anyway, okay, so this is, I think, BBS, or, or DDD path, and this is the BBS path. So, speaking of which, we're going to swap off of um, Team Days and instead be Team BBS. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, I know none of this makes any sense to you, so, but I'm, I'm happy to say hello. That's my brother, by the way, everyone. All right, so team. Yeah, I think this is all the teams. Definitely team BBS for the BBS levels. That I think is obvious. Also, I haven't done like any synthesis, but like I haven't really needed items at all. I mean, I guess these would be kind of cool to do. I don't know if I need oh, keys. I might, I guess, need to use these at some point. I have no idea how this works. Um, but I'd rather hold on to my synthesis materials in case I... Like, I don't know what these cards do. EXP bonuses? Anyway. Um, I know that certain stages give you, like... Okay. That's a good way to put it, Jared. Like, the Zelda timeline... The reason it's so confusing is, because, in my opinion, it doesn't even really need to be a timeline at all. Like, you don't have to connect them to each other, really. Like, they sort of, it's, it seems like they had to sort of put it all into a timeline. Um, also, I'm not going to acknowledge the pun. Okay, anyway. We get Twilight shirts from this future master. I didn't know that's what the name of this song was called. All right. Dude, I love this song. <laughs> Aqua's in the middle. I was actually surprised that they put her in the center instead of Ventus. Not that it really matters. Because I get that they're all supposed to be equal as far as importance goes, but he's the one that looks like Sora. <laughs> or Sora like. This is bringing back, like, memories for me. I've only ever played BBS once all the way through. Yes, Sora Light, exactly. Sora point eight. <laughs> Also, we're fighting inverse now. I screwed that up. That's too bad. Yeah. 
I do know that um, Skyward Sword. I haven't played Skyward Sword yet. I, I mean, I played two episodes worth on YouTube, which I need to get into recording those soon. Because I'm going to do the HD version. But I do know that it's a, like the original Zelda. And that sort of explains some origins of the legend, as far as I understand, which is pretty cool. Like, a game like that, I think, is very cool. I think the gameplay of DDD is much more enjoyable to me. Um, but I do really like the plot of BBS. Some of the delivery, like, it's, it's a little awkward sometimes how they laid it out. And, like, because there's, like, three separate stories, they each went, like, super quick. I didn't notice that. Is that because these are, like, the original colors of the Unverse from... Because I know that they changed the colors of enemies in Final Mix versus the original. Um, Future Masters, all right. Yeah, one more BBS song to go. See, like, this is weird. Um, as far as... Like, this is a song which I would not anticipate to be good. Um, for our rhythm game, but I guess here we go. Also, is this really... I guess it is a BBS song. But I feel like I, like, compared to, I don't know, like, it's weird to think that that's the, where it comes from, because it seems like it should have been, like, earlier in the series. Maybe that's just me, but I guess it had never come up before. Are the inverse different? Because they look the same to me, but that could also be my color blindness. I never did play the PSP version. I never owned a PSP. Which is kind of a shame because I've heard that the library is actually pretty good. I do remember those boots being a different color. Okay, I pressed that three times. But okay. Sure, whatever. Also, screw these jellyfish, man. I remember hating those. I feel like I remember struggling uh, fighting jellyfish in like the Neverland world. Yeah, blue and purple are hard for me to distinguish, so that's <laughs> they look exactly the same to me. Um, because I'm colorblind, which is funny. Um, some things obviously are way more drastic than that, though. I know in a lot of the originals versus Final Mix, especially in like Kingdom Hearts 1, like there's a lot more purple things. Um, or like like purples and blues and stuff. They didn't go for as many vibrant colors. Because the original um, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, I actually played like the original PS2 version not Final Mix, um, Master because all he had was a PS2. <laughs> their bonds of friendship as they prepared for the Mark of Mastery exam. Well, two of them did. But Aqua was the only one to pass the exam and become a Keyblade Master. Leaving Terra no time for disappointment, the three immediately received word that creatures called the Unversed had emerged to threaten the world of light, and Master Xehanort had gone missing. 
both Terra and Aqua were tasked with bringing the situation under control. Meanwhile, I remember liking that design. Aventus with a distressing thought. Terra resisted the call of darkness as he sought out. Dude, everyone like talks crap on Terra, and I don't know why. I like him a lot. <laughs> he was so misunderstood. To monitor Terra. Everything was going perfectly according to Master Xehanort's plan. I have, yeah. I did, um... So what I ended up doing, so I recorded the original, my original blank playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 1 on the original PS2 version, and then I ended up playing Final Mix for the secret bosses. And so I actually did play through, yeah. I've, I've done all the secret bosses once. Um, including the one from Agrabah. But he's not bad. Like, yeah, it's all like... He was misinformed and manipulated, sure, but like he didn't do anything wrong, really. Okay, I had to make sure that I know which songs I'm not allowed to do. See, I can't do bippity boppity boo. I can't do. Yeah, I think I can do. Let's see, like I can't do. I can't do this. Okay, but I can do a castle castle escapade. I'll have to do bippity boppity boo on my own. He's sexier with silver hair. I mean, you could argue that that matchup is 13 people versus one person, which seems a bit unfair. <laughs> What is happening? I did not get that rhythm at all. Sometimes the positioning of the enemies screws me up, even though they're all, like, equally far apart. We got Spellweaver. Like, I get behind there. I don't know what's happening. I wonder why they chose to do the original look of the Heartless as opposed to Final Mix. I'm sure some people like it. I know that it's a popular opinion. I missed Triangle there. Or not Triangle. I'm really not in, like, it's not that I'm not into Star Wars. I'm just behind on it. I guess I'm not really into it. I don't have anything against it. I do, I'm, like, the comparison of Terra to Anakin, though, is very similar, you know. Maybe besides the whole murdering a bunch of children part. I don't think Terra ever got that bad. <laughs> okay, so that's all we can do in this world because of copyright reasons. So thanks, Disney. Um, but... We can go ahead and do... Yeah, we can do both of these, I believe. Although I might only do one, because I, I was going to say... I'm going to stick to my rule of only doing one Disney World song um, per Unique World. Just so that it doesn't take so long to get through all of this. Unless I need to. I'm not going to probably 100% this on stream anyway. If I do, it'll be on my... These songs do bring back a lot of good memories, though. Oops. Come 
Oops, I missed that. It's weird because, like, the Disney worlds don't really play a huge plot role ever, but I do feel like Sora cared more about the people he met in the Disney worlds than, like, anyone else does in any of the games. Like, he thinks of, like, Hercules as his friend, for example. But like, you know, they all, I, like, these three met all met Hercules, I think, and they didn't, like, they don't really talk about their visits to the other worlds at all. That is fair. The game is basically a nostalgia bomb. Like, I didn't even play this when I was, like, my first playthroughs were when I was probably much older than most people that played them. But even still, I find myself nostalgic for them. I feel like Kingdom Hearts 3 got railroaded a little bit by Disney more than Square Enix. And then they tried to steer it back on track with Rayman. I think they did an okay job. I, I mean, it was during high school. I started Kingdom Hearts 1, like, 10th grade or so. Um, ooh, Crown of Guild. I have no memory of this Keyblade. Oh, it's 350 over two days. That's fine. Um... Yeah, we'll leave Dwarf Woodlands, Dwarf Woodlands for now, unless I don't have enough stars to get. Well, clear the nearest world. Oh boy. What? You're gonna make me clear it? But I can't. I can't play the song here. That's annoying. Is this the same way? I mean, I can always just mute it on stream and play something else instead. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been, like, I mean, you know me, I'm, it's taken me a while to get through all the videos. I wouldn't mind trying a cage, like, like 358 over two days or playing through coded on stream maybe sometime, even though I know the story. Or even, um, I never played through Chain of Memories um, because um, I wasn't sure how that would work or how I would feel about the gameplay. I've come to really like it, but it took some time and a lot of tutorials to get my brain wrapped around it. This is a really good theme, too. Dude, they know their battle music. They know their music. I should just full stop there. Like, even songs that... The only... Sorry, I'm focusing. Uh, the only song I would say that I don't love from Kingdom Hearts is the Atlantica original songs from Kingdom Hearts 2. Wow, I missed all of this. That's what I get for reading chat.
<laughs> yeah, sometimes the notes just come out of nowhere, so. We're, we're fine. We didn't die. Although I, my health got way lower than it should have. Um, New York to Atlantica is, sorry to say, a thing that exists. <laughs> and that's all that it is. <laughs> Nothing more. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm fine with things like that. The, the problem, I think, with it in that game is that, like, if you wanted all the spells, you had to do it. And it's so far removed from the rest of the gameplay. I don't know. I guess you could say something about, like, the mini games from Hundred Acre Wood. But those were, like, good. <laughs> so I don't know. Like, okay, Intended Dominion. What's the lock here for? Okay, that's just stars. Which you already have 12 of, so my guess is we'll be fine. Dude, Disney. Actually, I changed my mind. The main theme of Disney Town. I don't even know if we can listen to that Mickey Mouse March. We cannot listen to Mickey Mouse March, which honestly. I'm not upset about <laughs> that. That theme of, of Disney Town is graded into my memory from like that clockwork puzzle underneath it. I remember struggling. And all that's happening is that music is playing <laughs> over and over. It's just so repetitive. Come on, Ventus. It's certainly not like it's my fault. Oh, there was another inverse there. It's fine. I hit the one that mattered. <laughs> Sorry, I see that people are talking, I just, I'm very focused. Is this the battle theme of Disney Town? Because it, it's actually pretty good. I have heard about, like, there's, like, a bunch of, like, cool gameplay features at 358. Dude, look at A triple plus, though. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, can or Hundred Acre Wooden Three was also like, like if you compare it to like two, but even then it was still like way better. <laughs> Although I don't know if you saw um, my playthrough of Three on YouTube, I didn't, I couldn't figure out <laughs> the mini game. Like it was so, like I just didn't know you had to hold down a the button to like launch a row of stuff and so i was just dinking one like carrot at a time and it was horrible <laughs> if i ever do that took me so long all right Ooh. silent force rest okay both of these should be good yeah it's i mean it's pretty bad it's like and the first, I don't figure it out until like near the end of the last one that you have to do. And so like, I've been wasting all of this time struggling for no reason. Oh, they have the little goblin 
people from this world. Another goblins are like guards or something, I think. They look so funny though. shoot arrows, that's kind of cute. I don't know what I'm going to do about that path I can't take. I guess we'll see how far I can get today. And if we can get through enough stuff today, then I'll just do it off stream and then we'll go down that path another time. But why'd I drop? Luck like just keep going, apparently. Well, this music is probably not the best to keep you awake. It's a bit slow. <laughs> I'll have to find a faster paced song. I think the next one is the battle theme, but. This kind of game, though, is a very, you know. This is like. If I wasn't streaming, I'd play this game in bed on the Switch portably. All right. That's a pretty good one. I like the um, story of... That's Sleeping Beauty, I believe. Um, yeah, because Rough Woodlands is... Um, the Castle of Cinderella. Yeah, that's right. 36 pulsing gems. Riku memory material. Yeah, so these things are for, like... So you synthesize either keys or something with them. I don't really know. All right. So, I mean, we can keep moving on in B BBS. So, I guess then we don't have to do that. Maybe we are missing out on... Looks like Radiant Garden. And at least one story level. And then... Oh, what is this world even called? The Stitch World. All right. So, we did Chain Dominion. Oh, and then we got Neverland. I'll do Neverland's scare zone. That should be. Yeah, in Birth by Sleep, they you it's like the spaceship um, that he starts on. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's just called Deep Space, actually. I think they call Stitch... Um, Experiment 626 in that game, but you can like form a link with him and then you get like a battle Link like with some commands based on stitch So shout outs to Neverland, and I think technically Birth Birth by Sleep, or no, sorry. Sorry. Shout outs to Birth by Sleep for having actual Neverland. But I think 358 also had it. Instead of just a ship. <laughs> Although, I do like the ship world in KH1, I think it's unique. They did a good. That's like one of the worlds that blended good, like, regular plot well with Disney plot.
Doesn't Terra have a ability in BBS that you can like turn into one of those plants? I feel like I've seen that somewhere recently. That is right, you did, um... Yeah, and there, I do, I know exactly what you're talking about, Hell. There's that, um, scene as Terra, and I think that the little tooltip that scrolls to the top of the screen is like, put Peter Pan in his place, and it's like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah, I missed one of the star targets, dang it. Okay, um... No, I don't want to play that again. Um, so we've done one from each of these worlds. We can move on. I'll have to come back to these. Or, it's because it's either that, or I just, like, put on some other music and I just do it on my own. <laughs> but that sounds lame. So for now, we'll do this. Ooh, the encounter. Brick by Sleep version. Oh, I didn't. I realized it was more than one kind. Oh, it's Maleficent. Oh, this is a boss fight. That's pretty good, actually. Not bad. I mean, thanks, I guess. I thought I did better than that game. It's rude. Uh? Okay, hold on. Sounds good. Thanks for chatting. That dude, I was not ready for that. How is that great? Oh boy. Oh no, my health. Oh, I miss. I'm so close to the end, too. Live! Not bad! I'm almost dead! Pretty sure I was literally one note away from the end of that song. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Where's the Dargan? Dude, I can do this. That's, I could have, I mean, I guess I could bring an item. Dude, there was like so many moments that like suddenly they're throwing double control stick things at me
Okay. Dargon. Dude, how am I taking damage at all? I did great. Not bad, apparently. I guess I need more excellence. This is rough. Oh, come on, Ven. Oh, no. It's like, I, am I just, I don't think I'm understanding. Like, what is it that's making me not guard? Am I supposed to be pressing buttons during all that? Dang it, that sucks. That one not to miss. So I need excellence specifically. That's crazy. That's hard. Wonderful, apparently. Uh what? I hit that. I literally was on the last note. I mean, she just could have, like, gone through the door with Riku, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe that I was one. <laughs> no, no way. That's all right, though. I could listen to the song again. All right. How we doing? Making our way. What's next? Ooh, that looks good. Let's go. We've got Keyblade Graveyard. Oh, I bet you these are all um the three fights. Let's see, we got Melody of Pure Darkness, uh, Melody of Will, Melody of Culmination. Okay, I'm down for this. Ooh. Enter the darkness, let's go. Yeah, wake Ventus up. Right after Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> All right. Dude, I love this song. Vinitas was really a great villain. Oh, I missed that? Are you serious? That, okay, a lot of these have just been my fault. We got sirens. I don't know if you guys can hear that. They do motifs so good in this song. So that's like a little bit of the other promise or Roxas's thing, I'm pretty sure, right there. I missed one. And that's Sora's thing, I think. Or the... No, that's like the promised beginning, I think.
Okay, missed a few net at the end there. That is a really good song. The Japanese Vex... I mean, I know, like, Vexen's standard laugh where he's, like... Like, when he freezes you. And, or, or turns you into data in Kingdom Hearts 2's data battles. If that's the one you're talking about. I haven't actually heard much of the Japanese voice acting for this game. Although, I think it's pretty good. I think people in general like it. Alright, so that was Vanita's theme. Very good. Wonderful song. And oh, then the Riku cutscene. Enchanted Memories. From Reclamination. Black Powder. And all Glide Targets. Okay. Here we go. Do that. Birth of Sleep has bangers. But also so did, like, Coded has, dude, there's, this, this game has such good music. <laughs> I didn't know this song was called Black Powder. I think this is a song that plays during the secret uh, movie of Kingdom Hearts 2 when you're watching the Birth of Sleep stuff first. They're using the background like brass instead. Oh, oh come on, Tara. <laughs> A, a good idea right because it's like and like rhythm games because of just how they are you can make them set up so that like if you just want like a recap of the story and the list has the music you can just play on easy difficulty and get through it pretty easy oh are they different I, okay <laughs> we got monster zinc sword <laughs> master xehanort's plan was revealed at last Terra, Aqua, and Ventus entered into a grueling final battle. As yeah, this was an emotionally draining part of the series. <laughs> this is Fate of the Unknown that's playing right now. That's what I was thinking about. I think. Because this is the same song that, that you play when you fight, or that song that plays when you fight Lingering Will. Knowing that his own heart would be destroyed in the process. Ventus fought to stop the Keyblade from forming. As Ventus struggled, Aqua confronted Vanitas, who had taken control of Ventus's body. Drawing strength from her friends, she destroyed the Keyblade. You forgot to mention the whole, like, and then everyone had a depressing ending. <laughs> oh, I got 24 stars there. What is that? Oh, maybe... Oh, that's going to be the, the Terra battle. Ooh, we got Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff coming up. I mean, 
We got a fair ways to go still. Alrighty, let's see. And last but not least, let's do Melody of Will. This is terror battle thing. Alrighty. This is giving me flashbacks to finding lingering them. <laughs> Okay, well, I knew it was coming and I couldn't do it. <laughs> Dude, I'm missing some notes here. to do gliding and moving and hitting at the same time. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I forgot how good this song was. What a way to hype you up, to For what's happening. I mean, Kingdom Hearts Zenness is the bottom of that list because that fight is not as hard as the other two, easily. Like, it's hard if you don't grind for it, but the other ones, it's like, you literally grind to max and then it's like, I mean, unless you're super into the game, then you might, you know, be able to beat the other ones. But like, on a casual playthrough, you would have to grind them pretty high to get fight the secret bosses. In fact, I'd argue, I think Yuzdor is probably the harder one because he's behind 13 other bosses, although that's kind of cheating. Unwavering Melody. Dismiss. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Dude, I can't get over the little emoji characters on the bottom of the screen. They look so wonky. Okay. Oh boy, that's a lot of inverse. notes. Who I just barely got that. I, I, hello.
He's big heartless. Or unverse, excuse me. Definitely not heartless, even though they <laughs> are basically just heartless. <laughs> That'd be cool. I mean, there's so much Kingdom Hearts music, it would be harder than to put it all in one game. Alright. Ventus's heart fell into a deep sleep. Aqua faced off against Terra, whose body was controlled by Master Xehanort. To restore his heart to him, Aqua fought with all she had. I find even body. still Terra fell to darkness. the data Shion fight to be if harder than data Xehanort. Aqua sent him back to the realm of light, but he awoke with no memories and called himself Xehanort. Trapped in the realm of darkness and all alone, Aqua was about to give up the endless battle with darkness when her connections to her friends appeared in the form of a brilliant light and saved her. Sora, still just a child, had previously joined his heart with Ventus's. The connection they shared brought Ventus's wounded heart back to him. All guardians are still seekers? That sounds, you know, like chaos. I actually think that would be really unfun. <laughs> like, I think that the way, I mean, Ooh, what is this? Hello? Hello? Whoa, what is happening? What is happening? Hello? What is this? Well, hold on. Okay, so we just unlocked some stuff. I know I have... Okay, hold on. 280 stars. Complete 280... Okay, well, I'm not really close to that. Darn. But okay, hold on. Okay, did, was it out the way at the beginning that I unlocked? Thought it was. Yeah, this one here. Writhing Melody. Oh, this is... Ah. Wave of Darkness. Is this gonna be, like, hard? 525 total shadow enemies. Okay. Hit all star targets that are gonna be excellent. Okay. Dude, easy money. We can do this. 0 0.2, and that makes sense that they just have this one. A lot of the songs in 0.2 are very slow. Although there's some good battle themes they could do. Okay. I missed a note there. I went through everything. This seems like a it's like a, a challenge song almost. I didn't get excellence on those.
This is okay. I'm... I have no thought left. <laughs> I can't believe, dude. I can't believe I survived. That was crazy. First try, but dude, you can see in the middle there on that bar where I struggled. That was rough. Whew. Got me sweating and everything. I got one star. Yeah, I got the good on one of those star ratings. Okay, well. Whew. As Aqua wandered alone through the realm of darkness, familiar <laughs> she got the realm of light <laughs> to be HD. <laughs> Something was wrong. As she hurried onward, silent visions of Terra and Ventus emerged before her. And she was even forced to fight against a vision of herself. And let me tell you, the Zodiac version of that was of her own heart and desperately rough. After her friend's images. I heard that there was, like, some issues with the port or something, or, like, it didn't run very well. But, like, some people disagreed. I don't know very much about it. Speak with Terra, who had ties to the realm of darkness. But moments that was later, a hard song. He was taken huh. over by Master Xehanort. Aqua was saved just in time by Mickey... He was there searching for the Keyblade that belonged to the Realm of Darkness. Together, they arrived at Destiny Islands, which had fallen into darkness. Aqua realized that she had been to this world before, and mentioned that this was where she had met Sora and... Who had it worse? I mean, that's a good question. Because you could argue that for, like, the ten years, they were both suffering. Because, like, apparently, like, close the door. based on the scenes from Kingdom Hearts 3, like, it seemed like he was constantly trying to get free from, like, Xehanort's control. But then Aqua literally had to constantly play Heartless for 10 years, so that's a hard one. They both kind of just had it horribly. Years <laughs> passed. And preparations were made to search for Aqua. We all yeah, set just a few years. <laughs> Although, this, I guess this is just only a barely change. more than one year after that event, because that takes place at the same time as Kingdom Hearts 1. Yeah, they both kind of just... And like, Ventus, you know, also had it rough, but at least in the end, he mostly just got to sleep and chill with Sora. <laughs> so, all right. That was hard <laughs> already how fun though okay so we still can't go down dude we did a lot of songs so far can't go down this path without clearing a song that i can't stream for copyright we've made it this far and we're on the kingdom hearts 3 so i think what i'm gonna do now I, i'll just go through uh ddd D -D -D. and by doing so i'll swap my team for that too <laughs> ventus yeah he just went chilled in a chair. Although, imagine how bad his back hurts. Because, like, his posture sitting in that chair when they finally got to him in Castle Oblivion was not good. His poor spine. Okay, yeah. I mean, I guess we'll do Riku, Meow, Wow, and Kamari, Kamori Bat. I also just realized that these characters have stats. Does that... I mean, I guess maybe if you leveled up, bosses would be easier. Because you wouldn't take so much damage. Maybe that's why bosses are hardest, because I'm not doing every level. That would make sense, actually. Alright. We got DDD time. Traverse and Trance. Alrighty. Let's do both of these songs. Dude, he's going. <laughs> he's running. Ah, this is nostalgia. <laughs> the Dream Eaters, dude. Who 
would be cool if they had like a companion for like one of the the world in the view characters as a companion for this stage I see, so level does matter for that then. I see, okay. And more health, yeah, I guess that makes sense because you have health every level. Not just one bosses. It is still a Kingdom Hearts game after all. I love all that lead up because, like, you know that the Traverse Town melody is eventually gonna come out, and then it does, and it's so pretty. I really like this version, actually. Fire! Oh, I was distracted. <laughs> I never really, like, loved the Dream Eater enemies. I mean, they're fine, but I think the Enverse were cooler. Apart from that, it doesn't make too much of a difference, yeah. I don't really know what strength would do. I mean, maybe for, I don't know. It certainly hasn't seemed like it mattered. Well, there's that scene with um, Axel where he's like, Ben just looks just like Roxas. Or is it Roxas that looks like Ben? And I'm gonna have to explain all of this convoluted stuff to everyone. <laughs> Alrighty. Now let's go hand to hand, hand to hand. All right, let's do this. Yeah, I mean, they don't really there's like one brief point in the Free Mind DLC where they have a conversation during the Armored Xehanort fight. Like, Armored Xehanorts. The rhythms on this are like are a little different than hand in hand and it's like screwing me up because I'm that's what I'm way familiar with. I actually kinda said that Riku's team is just him and two dream eaters. One lonely meow wow. Spider-Man meme. 
I mean, it's hard because, like, Axel is who I recognize the character as, since that's how you meet him. I do think it was a little weird that, like, he came back from being a nobody, was Lee, and then was like, I actually want people to call me Axel. Like, it made it needlessly confusing. Master Yen Sid knew that Sora and Riku still had a lot to learn before they could stop Master Zed. And it's not like the X in the name means nothing, because technically isn't like mark of mastery you know, a story significance that like the exam that X is the sigil that lets them just know where they are at all times. <laughs> reawaken them by unlocking their keyholes. But an unfortunate encounter caused Sora and Riku to be flung into different worlds. Fighting alongside benevolent dream eaters, is it really? Spirits, they carried on. Suddenly, a boy in a black coat appeared. That's pretty cool, and also disappointing that that didn't see the light of day. All righty. I will say kudos to Dream Drop Distance for having like all original worlds, pretty much as far as I can remember. Um, I mean, you could, yeah, the grid is, I would say, I know it's both Tron, but it's like separate from Space Paranoids. Alrighty, let's see. I think all these songs are fine. Yeah. I'll just do one of each of these. We're really making our way through. We're, I feel like we're getting pretty close to the end of a lot, most of the worlds. Yeah, I mean, the grid was okay. so weird jumping around like that oh i'm not super familiar with this music because i've only played ddd the one time I get up there. I, yeah, so the, um, uh, it's actually funny. The episode that I recorded of DDD, the one with the, um, like Fantasia world, pretty much the entire thing, I had to, like, mess with it to make sure that it could even be played at all. Like, I did, I was willing to part with ads or whatever, but, like, they wanted to, like, not even let it be, like, in fact, it might still be restricted in, like, some countries, actually. I could be wrong about that. All right, we got the grid. Let's do digital domination. Okay. 
Symphony of Sorcery was the name of the world. That's right. I thought that was super cool because like they like make all of your characters silent just in that world only. So creative. I can get down with this. I don't remember this song about in this heart. I think I did try to fight it, but it's just so hard on YouTube sometimes. I think I eventually got resolved. Sure did lose that dislike bar. It's still something I don't agree with. So I think most people don't agree with it. If only for the reason of like finding like tech tutorials. It's so hard to know when like a tutorial is good. Cause you can like identify. Sorry, I'm focused. Dang it, I missed that special move right at the end and I think I needed um to hit all the simultaneous ones only got an item I haven't gotten one of these in a while I don't think I got a single one of this VBS alrighty yeah I missed that last simultaneous target dang it that's alright I like that art And we got Majestic Wings. I guess this is the only one from here that they have. I wonder why. I don't know why that was so hard for me to hit that one. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Where does this song play in the game? A lot going on. These rhythms are weird. Ooh, I like that. There's also a lot of music that I didn't appreciate, like in the base game of like, a lot of these games, because. There's like, always so much going on in the normal games. It's sometimes hard to. 
I played Jack One for the first time, like, I mean, it must have been like, not too long ago, actually. This is good. Alrighty. Is that the boss you've had on top of the bell tower? Loading dock. I don't know what that is. Alright, these are like the, the musketeers. And then we got Prankster's Paradise. That's what it is. Country of the musketeers. Okay, so I need 20 stars to get through there. Easy. Let's do Prankster's Party. I know it's faster paced, which sometimes is harder, but you know what? Screw it. We got this. I do think that like the Disney Worlds from Dream Drop were some of the most unique. I can't tell if the songs are getting harder or if I'm just becoming less familiar with them. Maybe a little bit of both. at the end there. The song I'm still here, I don't know which song that is. Do we get another item that I'll probably never use? Because apparently I've just not been doing them. A lot of Kingdom Hearts 3's worlds were pretty much just like the movies they were from. I mean, Tangled and Frozen come to mind specifically. All right, let's go and take a look over at Country of the Musketeers. Jim's theme. I mean, it's been so long since I've seen Pressure Planet. Oh, there's a, hold on, there's a. Let's see, one for all, all for one. Those should both be fine. I have to keep checking to make sure I don't get into trouble. I remember liking Treasure Planet, but I don't remember a lot of the music from the original movie. Dude, that last note tricks you with the pip rhythm.
doing some of these notes. I feel like there's more notes than there have been. I think that they're getting a little harder. Maybe I'm just making that up, though. That was hard. <laughs> Ready though. Dude, nice. We got three stars. <laughs> Master of Masters. All right, and I think that. I mean, I don't know. It says that there's uh, a video for completing this world, so I think I'm going to go out of my way to do that. I hope I haven't missed any other Disney worlds with, like, cutscenes on them. Not that, I mean, most of it seems to be just recap anyway, but I don't know, I'd like to do all of those at the very least. I will say a lot of the Dream Eaters had pretty cool designs. a lot. <laughs> It is funny. It's it, there's so many nets happening at the same time. So during, I mean, we saw what a lot of the cast did. I know that, like, the BBS trio went to the realm of darkness. Um, uh, Riku went to do the limit cut stuff. Sora is doing whatever Sora is doing. <laughs> I guess, like, you know, if you don't know, like, what the Days Trio is doing. Whew, my hands. <laughs> sweating. And Riku continued traveling from dream to dream.
However, the cloaked boy, Ansem, and Zemnis appeared everywhere Sora and Riku went, misleading them with every encounter. Meanwhile, <laughs> Sora looks so dumb. Up in one <laughs> of schemes, but he was saved by Lee, formerly known as Axel, from Organization 13. Master Yen Sid agreed to make Lee a Keyblade wielder to catch Xehanort off guard in hopes of defeating him. Alrighty. I guess we needed to do that anyway since we needed more stars to advance. Ooh, we got DDD World than Never Was. Oh, that's gotta be Master Zay or Young Xehanort's battle theme. We got, yeah, the World That Never Was, there's two in there. Young Xehanort theme. Melody of Slumber. Okay, well, let's do. We're gonna do all of these. Hmm. I didn't know that someone was called Dream Drop. That's fun. I would love a, like a Days Trio game. Other than Days. <laughs> Not that I don't have any. I, I want to also play Days, but that's like a mission-based game, isn't it? You don't really get to play. I mean, I guess you do get to play as everyone. This is the one where Marluxia has a giant ladle, right? <laughs> I remember struggling on the final fights of this game. In fact, I remember... I streamed, I was streaming it at the time, and I streamed until like 4 a.m. trying to beat all of Riku's bosses, because he has like five bosses at the end of the game. It would be interesting if there was like a like a Destiny Islands all in good fun style fight between like modern day Sora and Riku. Dude, full chain, let's go. That actually was not too hard of a song. Oh, I love that art. Alrighty. Dream here we go. Um, I mean... I can't remember. I feel like I struggled a lot with, um... Dark Armored Ventus. More so... Young Xehanort. Uh, but I was also probably just really tired. Oh, we're talking about the um the unknown secret fight in BBS. Did beat that as Aqua or Ventus, I know, at one point, but that was. Talk about a nightmare. That fight is hard and cheap.
It certainly wasn't designed like around all three characters because yeah, Terra, it's like a nightmare fighting with Terra. Oh, no, missed that. Lost my groove there. There we go. I think I figured that out. the multiplayer thing in the Mirage Arena. Yeah. You, you threw off my groove. <laughs> but I thought that the Young Xehanort fight wasn't Mirage Arena. Or am I misremembering? I know there were some super bosses in the Mirage Arena. Or maybe it's Vanitas' fight that I'm thinking of. That would, that would make sense, though, for, like, why it's so hard to do by yourself. All right, and we got Temporal Melody. Oh, I press, dude, I keep pressing. Every now and then I'll press B, thinking it's A. Oops, well, we unlock stuff. Okay. <laughs> That's just music, though. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you threw off my groove. I love this song. It's so good. And I love all the variations of it that exist in Kingdom Hearts 3, too. The song, I don't know what the name of the song is that when you're fighting the Ansem, Zemnis, and Young Xehanort. It's such a good song. But it's really only as good as, like, the original songs are because they're, like, they're the ones with the really good music and then it's just those songs, pretty much. Dude, Riku's blocking the view a little bit with his feet. These nuts are weird. The strings are so good. Hey, welcome back. You came back to a great song.
yeah, we'll, we'll do probably, what I'll probably do next stream. Uh, I still got some time for this one, but I'll probably clean up that one song um, in the BBS area on my own. And then um, next stream, we'll finish up the rest of those worlds that I missed. And then we'll do KH3. Sora thought he had completed his exam, but found himself in the world that never was. There, he was lured into the depths of darkness and captured to become the 13th vessel for Master Xehanort. Meanwhile, Riku had arrived to find Sora trapped in a bad dream. Hmm. Riku learned that he had unwittingly dived into Sora's dream and protected him from nightmares as he slept. Yeah, this whole part was like a bit confusing. <laughs> Yeah, there, there sure are a lot of them Master that are named Zaynor that way. managed to regain his form, but he was caught off guard and was unable to carry out his plan. Then he vanished, his parting words foretelling a war that was yet to come. <laughs> All right. We got Melody of Slumber. Yeah. Okay, I have no idea what this. Also, just hearing the preview is making me nervous for this This is Sora's final battle theme in DD, I think. Because he's the one that fights Zenus. There's that motif. It might have been. I mean, Kingdom Hearts 2 was in development forever. I was literally about to say, I remember us playing at the in school. <laughs> we played that piano duet, and we swapped pianos, and it was crazy and fun. Dreaming Melody, and I think that'll be probably, well, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to have enough stars to go through here, although we're making our way. All right. 
the eye of darkness occasionally i still play piano i want to get back into it um i spent a lot of time not being able to play but i have a, a keyboard you know in my office now so i'm a little rusty though for it to jump there. Wow, I got screwed up there. Yeah, time is a big issue. In fact, it's probably the biggest one. Alrighty. Roxas Memory Dive. I, I dabble. I'll, I'll play a song around that. I, just, I don't have a lot of time to practice stuff, so it's mostly just stuff I already know how to do. Riku continued deeper into Sora's dream, where he encountered those whose hearts were sleeping inside Sora's heart. Thanks to their help, Sora managed to wake up safe and sound, and Riku was made a Keyblade Master. Lee had become a Keyblade Wielder, and I was brought in to become a new member of the Guardians of Light. Sora, wake up. <laughs> Armored Ventus Nightmare. <laughs> all right. So I think that's probably, a, you know, we made pretty good time, all things considered. So we got this little offshoot here. And then we have, looks like, uh, KH3 stuff. And then whatever's at the end here. So. Yeah. So I guess we might be able to see how much we get to do. We might finish next stream, honestly. I have no idea. Yeah, I've heard that you've been producing music. That's pretty cool. But yeah, it's like when you're, all of your time is spent doing a certain hobby, it's hard to... You have to fill the rest in with the cracks, which is kind of rough. You know, I think that... um, I honestly really like his KH3 design a lot. Um... Probably a tie between two and three, although um, I like a lot of the the dry form designs in two better than the form change designs in three, personally. But all right, anyway, I think that's probably gonna wrap it up for today's stream. Um, so, like I said, I'm gonna do what level is it? Uh, this second song in Castle of Dreams uh, on my own, um, and then we'll pick up these other. Uh, worlds here um, and then maybe maybe finish it all off 
I mean, there's really not that many worlds left. I think we could probably do it. So, we'll have to see. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, everyone, chatting. And I will see you guys next week um, on Wednesday. I You might have noticed I adjusted my schedule a little bit. Um, I found that four or five days a week was a lot. And so I just cut it down to uh, four. So Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and then a big long one on Saturday. Anyway, thanks so much, everyone, and I'll see you next time.